Hello again, guys, and welcome to episode 40? Yes. On my blind playthrough for Trails in the Sky, we just got to the port city of Ruan, and I was gonna walk around and meet a bunch of the citizens and report to the guild branch, because um, we literally just got here, and then I stopped playing. So today's episode is gonna be mostly just walking around, getting to know the city a little bit. Which I know is not always the most exciting, but I still enjoy doing it. Hello, welcome to the Hotel Blanche. All of the rooms here boast a magnificent view of the ocean. Please feel free to relax and enjoy our amenities. It's such a funny word, amenities. I'm sorry, didn't say all the rooms have a view of the ocean? That's a lie, these do not. Oh, jeez. Look at this giant suite. God, it's like an apartment. I'd like to stay in this hotel. That would be really nice. There's a door in the back somewhere, I thought. How do I? How do I get over to the dock? Oh, I can go down the stairs. I didn't notice that. Totally missed that. These hotel rooms are really nice. There we go, I wanted to come talk to this dude. Hmm, you want to use the boat? No, I don't, and that was very anticlimactic. I put in so much effort to come talk to you. Bracer. Or rather, a bracer in training, if I recognize that crest correctly. Wow, you sure know your stuff. I know a few things. Alright, what do you have? Ooh. Expensive weapons, that's what you have. Very expensive weapons. Skull pendant? Oh, prevents death blow. Okay, that makes sense. I will definitely have to come back here for the weapons. Oh, hi, Chloe. What brings you to town? I'm just showing my friends around. Aw, we're friends. Hey, she's got the same school uniform as Chloe. I guess you're on your way home? Yeah, there's no club practice today, so... Oh, by the way, did you ever make up your mind about you know what? Okay, I hope you do soon. Hmm, intrigue. There's more to Chloe than meets the eye. I guess I should get ready for school. I've done everything I need to get done, so I can't really complain. That's my motto. I guess it's not a bad motto. You're adorable. I know that uniform. Are you a Royal Academy student? Now that I get a close look at it, I like it even more. Ruan was originally a town of sailors and fishermen. You'd have men from around the world here, and all of them made their living at sea. I want my son to live that kind of life too, to be a real man. I should head over to the harbor soon. There are things I want to get done. So far, all these people are just very normal and kind of boring, and I'm a little bit disappointed.
That vaguely rings a bell. I feel like we had somebody else sing that to us before. Oh jeez, this goes like <laughs> all the way around the city. Okay. I gotta get back to where I was so I don't miss things. church. Okay. Wow, there's almost nobody in here. Long ago, this area was populated mainly by men waiting to go off to sea. True love, it's all. A magazine article described our seaside church as being nothing more than a tourist attraction. So very strange. When the sun sets in the evening, the light comes in from over the water and through the stained glass. It's quite beautiful. And since the building itself is so pretty, it's very popular with women. I could see that. That would probably be gorgeous. Every church in the game has this little balcony thing up on the left. Okay. So I did the hotel and the store up there and all the houses on that side. I don't want to do the guild branch just yet. We're going to save that till the end. Because that will progress the story. I didn't mean to come to the landing port, but that's okay. I'll talk to the person here too. Anytime the airships are grounded, I get absolutely flooded with inquiries. Of course, even when everything's running perfectly smoothly, I'm still busy. Oh well, at least it's not boring. That is a good attitude to have, Edwin. I like your positivity. Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt your maintenance. Todd, you're adorable. Mechanic trainee, okay. of big open space in this landing port. A lot to try to walk around in. Pretty much useless. Um, and then I already walked around over here, so I just need to go into the duty free store. It's cute that they actually called it that. When I was young, nary a mirror to my name, I sailed around the world on a trading ship. Once upon a time, Ruan was full of men with the same drive. Okay, so what do you have? I'm gonna say ingredients, most likely. But I need to buy the liberal news. Marbled steak, that's expensive. Dragon beans? What? Where are dragon beans? Okay, I'll just talk to all these people. much bigger than I'd expected. That's what she said. Okay. Ooh, casino and bar, not just a bar. That's new. Phew, I thought the airship trouble was going to ruin the business meeting. I'm glad I rushed here from Bose. 
Not too long ago, I ran into this really fast monster on the beach. When I tried to kill it, I actually broke my sword on its hide. It may be small, but it's tough. Okay. New folks travelers, word to the wise, stay away from the warehouse district. We've got some really unsavory types hanging out down there. So of course it's exactly where we're gonna go. Buy one of each of these, because they will probably give me the recipes for them. At some point I need to actually eat all the things I've bought, because I have quite a few just like sitting in my inventory. I'm planning for the grand reopening of the Laventar Casino and Bar to coincide with the Queen's birthday festivities. Right now the entire second floor is being remodeled, okay? Cute little useless balcony. everything about this game. <laughs> everything. Okay. So I haven't talked to you two yet, because this is where I came in, but I didn't go to the Orbal Factory. This will be important. Got a lot of tourists today. They don't have reservations for the hotel, though, I hear, and that place is booked solid. I think the Bracer Guild office is opening up to take them in. That's surprising. Okay. don't have enough to open that slot for him. I could open that for her, but then I'm even farther away from opening his. What courts do we have here? HP 2. I wish I could get more information about them while I was in this menu. It's like what happens if I equip it to my people who impede to. I don't want enough for that. Um, I think Joshua already has HP too. I don't remember. Um, I know I have some Evade 2 in my inventory. Impede 2 would be nice, but I don't have the right Sabbath for that. Um, yeah, that's not what I want. Oh, she already has Impede 2. Okay, I don't need it then. He has HP too. I was gonna switch one of hers to that to get Ariel. here. I never know what to do with my quartz. I'm so indecisive. I never know what the best answer is. Okay, that's not where I want to go. It's a very small building with a lot of doors. <laughs> oh shoot, I didn't mean to do that yet. Good afternoon. Where's the receptionist? Oh, hello there. Can I help you? She's really pretty. Um... Jean is currently in a meeting with a guest on the second floor. I'm sorry for the inconvenience, but is there something I can help you with? Uh, well, we're not here as customers or anything. Oh, the emblems. I see. So we're in the same business then. My name is Karna. I work here at the Ruan branch. Are you new in town? I don't recognize you. Yep, I'm Estelle, Junior Bracer. Same goes for me, I'm Joshua. It's a pleasure to meet you. Estelle and Joshua. That's right, you're the new kids from Roland then. You two were involved in some big to-do with Shirazard in the boat, in bows, weren't you? <laughs> well, I don't know if I'd put it quite like that. Were you expecting us? Yes, Jean told me about some promising up-and-comers, but I'm afraid you can't change assignments until she's available. He's available. Why not go sightseeing to kill some time until then? I suppose so. It beats sitting around and waiting. Um, would you want to hang out with us a little longer? 
We only just met, and I'd hate to just part so suddenly. Oh, she likes Chloe. Certainly. So long as I won't be a bother or get in your way. We can all go take in the sights of Ruan. And then we'll come back in a little bit. Sure, have fun. I'm guessing I can't do anything. Yeah, I can. I can pick up the one that I already completed. I just have to report it later. <laughs> here. Okay. I'm like, there's part of this building that looks really weird on the map. That's what it is. It's a little balcony thing. I didn't mean to go back out. There we go. I struggle with the doors in this game. Sky Bandit's held me prisoner for so long. It's been ages since I've seen my hometown. Ruan's still my favorite place in the world. You really weren't kidnapped that long, if we're being honest. Way is the park built to commemorate the end of the Hundred Days War. Okay, I have a question for everyone. As you know, you'll be right in front of the Royal Palace if you cross the Rubine River. That's where the ships of the Imperial Navy were defeated during the Hundred Days War. How was it done? I know! I've got it. Too easy. They used the cannons that are all over Ruan City, right? Hmm, not quite. There certainly is plenty of artillery here, but we still can't withstand the heavy Imperial attack on that alone. I'll give you a hint. They employed a much more... dynamic method. I know! I know! And... go! What's the answer, miss? <laughs> they lowered the Langley Bridge? Oh, so sorry, that's incorrect. Power to the city had been knocked out at the time, so the bridge was stuck in the race position. Here's the answer. Many old and decommissioned ships were sent from upriver to be detonated and sunk. Since the mouth of the river is so shallow, the Imperial ships couldn't break through. Wow, that's cool, but it seems a little bit much. Extreme, if you ask me. Well, we're done for the day now, so you're free to do as you wish for a while. Please have fun until it's time. Interesting. I don't know why my dad has to be so stubborn. Because he's a dad. That's what he does. Okay, so a bunch of tourists. Um, I lost track of where the bridge is. Over there. Okay. <laughs> uh, don't mind me. I can't find the giant bridge in the middle of town. Whoa. This is the Langley Bridge? Langland words. It sure is huge. It's gotta be twice as big as the Vert Bridge. It was built more than 40 years ago. Before then, people used to have to take a ferry from one shore to the other. Why didn't they build the bridge sooner? The Rubine River is the only body of water linking the lake to the ocean. Ships have to be able to reach Grand Cell, don't they? Very astute. It wasn't possible to build the bridge until after the Orbital Revolution 50 years ago. I get it. Orbment power, right? But it looks almost like it just popped up out of nowhere. The drawbridge is raised three times a day. The next time should be sometime this evening, I think. Cool, we need to see that. Okay, now how big is the south block? Pretty big. that building in a minute. That's okay, that's the mayor's residence. Probably don't have a reason to go there just yet. My father can be kind of offensive, which works both to his advantage and detriment. My mother doesn't always say the right things either. My husband is a harbor master, but he's a bit of a coward. He's popular and reliable, but I wish he'd be a little more confident. Okay, 
Okay, I need to head over to the harbor. As harbor master, I should definitely not have to put up with such nonsense. But as harbor master, it's your job to put up with such nonsense. It's kind of how it works. house. Oh, that's an impressive hat. I like it. Tourist and hotel industries. Okay. The penthouse suite is particularly nice. Yes, it is. Penthouse suite is about as nice as your entire house. gentle massage on the feet. I mostly see fishermen and sailors in here, but I'm always glad for new customers, whoever they might be. Wine steamed egg. Buy one of those. Buy one of these. Salubrious oatmeal? Don't know what that word means. I just got back from the Calvert Republic some time ago. Ain't seen that place in a long time. That's a long ways away. It's more landlubbers than anything else. When we have our own fishing pole. You probably want to avoid the warehouse district. Everybody's warning us away from the warehouse district. Is this what I was gonna say? I don't even know where the warehouse district is. Apparently, right here. Man, there sure are a lot of big buildings around here. That's because this is the warehouse district. Cargo from foreign countries is kept here for safekeeping. I see. Kind of a depressing place, though. Seems really lonely and desolate. Well, since the advent of airships, not much cargo is transported by sea anymore. So these warehouses don't get a lot of new shipments these days. Yeah, that makes sense. Looks like some of the warehouses are abandoned, too. Okay. No. Everybody warned us away from here, so clearly we're gonna go here anyway. That's just how it works. What's a bunch of little kids doing here? Hey, this place is off limits. You brats ain't getting in, so scram! We never even said we wanted to come in. But mister, why do you look so nervous? Y you can tell? Never mind, you're not allowed here. Just go already. I think we may need to handle this one with some care. Well, he's sure acting strange. I wonder what's up with him. Mm-mm, Chloe knows more than she's letting on.
Okay, so the warehouses are locked. And that guy won't talk to us anymore, and I think I talked to everybody in South Block. Hold it, you lot! Ooh, us? Well, well, must be our lucky day. Not too many women folk come around these parts. You're a real sight for sore eyes. Oh boy. And what business have you here? Oh, this and that. We've been here for quite a while, actually. If you honey's got time to spare, how about you entertain us, huh? This is not gonna end well for you, Dean. <laughs> Are you seriously trying to pick up girls in an empty old warehouse lot? Sorry, but we have plans already. You know, places to go, things to see. So yeah, not interested. Feel free to go away now. Oh, check you out. I like tough women. I'll take all the abuse you can dish. If your goal was to creep me out even more, consider your mission accomplished. Hey, you know, if you ladies are playing tourists, then maybe we can show you around, huh? You can ditch that little kid with you and we'll have some fun. Hey now, who are you calling a little kid? Punks like you couldn't take on Joshua if you- It's okay, Estelle. It doesn't bother me. What good is getting angry going to do? Aw, are you holding back for our sake, kid? How sweet. Where does this brat get off hanging around with two hotties? <laughs> I think he needs a lesson in just how unfair life can be, don't you think? Just a second. If my presence has somehow offended you, then I apologize. But if you lay a finger on the ladies, I'll make certain that you regret it. What? Just who do you think you are? He's just bluffing. I get that you want to look all cool in front of the ladies, but you're about to experience a world of pain. Yeah, I really think Joshua could take you. Even all three of you. What do you think you're doing? Who are you? I don't think we've met you yet. Oh great, another nuisance. I can't believe you guys would start again with this delinquency. You're old enough to know better. You should be ashamed of yourselves. Shut up! What do you care what we do? You're just one of the mayor's yes-men. Oh, that's why he's a steward. Okay. How dare you denigrate my work? How dare you indeed? Gilbert is a valuable member of my staff. D Dalmore? <sighs> Whoa, who's that? He's way too well-dressed for this part of town. That's Dalmore, the mayor of Ruan. And the younger one is Gilbert, his private secretary, I think. Ruan has always been a free city. I have no intention of lodging a complaint about your manner of speech or your attire, but bothering outsiders who may be paying guests is not permissible. Stop it, old man. You think you're such a big shot. We ain't interested in a thing you have to say. How dare you speak to the mayor in such a fashion? How would you like for us to report you to the Bracer Guild again? <laughs> Bracer Schmacer. Always hiding behind them. Can't you do anything on your own? Besides, it's not like the Bracers would get here right away. We'd have plenty of time to enjoy the altercation. Well then, we'd be gone without a trace before anyone was the wiser. Um, I hate to ruin your masterful plan, but I'm afraid we're already here. Wait, what? Man, you mean you still haven't noticed the badges? Maybe you guys need glasses or something. With great deliberation and exaggerated movements, Estelle pointed out the bracer emblem on her chest. She then raised her eyebrows for further emphasis. Oh crap. You guys are bracers? So wait, this little punk you're with is also a bracer, yes. What do we do now? I can't believe that little squirt is actually a bracer. You're actually worried? Even if they are bracers, it's just a couple of girls and some kid. Dumbass, you can't judge a book by its cover, you know? You remember what happened the last time we took on a chick bracer? Even with three people, she wiped the floor with us. Going up against two bracers, even if they do look like pipsqueaks, is totally not a good idea. Okay, we're gonna let you off the hook for now. If we see you again, though, you'll be in for some real pain. Catch you later! 
Jeez, now those were punks. I mean, could they be any more stereotypical? Eh, no harm done. And don't we have somewhere we need to be? I must apologize. I loathe when our city's guests are bothered. Forgive my lack of an introduction as well. I am Dalmor, Mayor of Ruan. And this is my steward, Gilbert. A pleasure, I'm sure. You're, you are Bracers, are you not? Yep, I'm Estelle from Roland. And I'm Joshua, also from Roland. Jean did mention some promising new faces soon to arrive. Might he have been referring to you, perchance? <laughs> well, I don't know about the promising part, but yeah, I think he meant us. We came to Ruan in search of work, actually. Ah, oh, how delightful. We've had some hard times of late, you see, so any help we can get is simply wonderful. I'm sure your presence here will be a great boon to us. Hard times? What do you mean? Well, Jean would be the one best able to supply the details. As an aside, is that a campus uniform I spy, young lady? Yes, sir. I'm Chloe Rins. I'm the second year student at the Royal Academy. It's a pleasure to meet you. Charmed. Dean Collins is a friend of mine, actually. Hmm. Didn't you graduate from the Royal Academy yourself, Gilbert? Yes, sir. You said your name was Chloe? I've heard a great deal about you. You ran against Jill for head of the student council, right? You must be proud to have been a contender as a junior. Oh, you flatter me, sir. I'm looking forward to the campus festival. I trust you'll be giving your all to help make it a memorable one, no? Yes, sir, I absolutely will. Well, I think we'd best be going. If those ravens start making trouble again, feel free to drop by and let me know. It is my duty as mayor of Ruan to ensure that these streets are safe for tourists and residents alike. I like the mayor. Seems like a decent guy. Well, he was certainly a dignified one. Yes, indeed. His manner and actions were perfectly suited to the mayor of a city. House Dalmore is made up of a long line of well-bred aristocrats. Though we no longer have real nobles, he's about as close as it gets. Wow, it's like he's from a totally different world. On the other hand, though, you still have all the lowlifes, like those guys who tried hitting on us. Yes, that was quite unsettling. I'm very sorry for leading you into such a place unprepared. No need to apologize. It's not like we sought them out or anything. We should probably keep our distance from the back end of the warehouse district, though, to avoid further altercations. Ugh. Well, I don't like being restricted like that, but whatever. Oh, you know I'm definitely going back there. Without a doubt. <laughs> That's gonna be it for right now, though, guys. Uh, I appreciate you hanging out. Next time we'll go talk to Jean at the Bracer Guild and start up with some of the quests and stuff there, hopefully. I'm not sure what exactly the main storyline here is gonna be, but I'm excited to find out. Thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed, and I will catch you next time.